Connecticut. Okay? That's give or take a couple of feet. It's about 120 miles from the house. Um, this is Monday. Once a year on a Monday, they do the Connecticut Dragway Reunion. Whoa, it's driving all over the road. Hold on. Go for a second. They do the Connecticut Dragway Reunion there. And they fill the place up with all nostalgia race cars. And they actually do a cackle fest where they got these old, you know, the old uh, slingshot dragsters. I know last year Stone Woods and Cook were there and all these people, and they'll fire up the cars. Now, last year I was invited to go, and I didn't go. And then we find out there was over 750 cars in the show. So I figured, ah, it was a Monday. Who was going to go? What do I know? Well, I swore last year we were going to go this year, and I realized last night that it was today. So I'm off from work anyway. But, I mean, the show doesn't start till 5 tonight. They don't fire up the cars till 7. So we figure we'll be there till about 9. I figure I won't be home till midnight. And tomorrow's a double shift, so I should be pretty tired by Wednesday. Uh, well, that's it for now. Oh, plus we're going to be stopping, I'm sure, at the, some of the fireworks stores in Connecticut for my out cold pilot. And I'm sure he has his favorite aquarium that we hit in West Haven, Connecticut. Only I can get stuck at the Easy Pass two times in a row. There you go, the Cross Bronx George Washington Bridge. No, not this time. <laughs> We're going north to New Haven. We're going nowhere near that Cross Bronx. See you later, Cross Bronx. If anybody knows the way I drive, you realize I just passed the turn. And that's no surprise to anybody, is it, little guy? See, this is the way a car should, should, show should be run. It's free if you have a car to get into the show. And it's $5 for a car load to go see it. I still never can figure out why I have to pay to show my car. I think it's cool, huh? He's cooling it down. Well, we made it. And Dan got his exercise. Two cars ahead of us, an old vet, looked like a 59, died. And of course the battery was dead. And of course he was going uphill. So I jumped out to help push it with a bunch of other people. And the guy didn't know how to pop the clutch. So we pushed it till I almost died. And now it's just laying on the side over here and the guy doesn't get it. He doesn't know what to do. Yay, he figured out how to start it. Oh, well, we're just coming up on the show, it looks huge. Those are cheetah slicks, that's what we got on the back, oh no. Yeah, those are what we have on the back of the wagon. Just different tread. Yeah, for all you falcon lovers.
Those rooms look like they're 14 inches wide. Check out this custom van. Back to the 70s. Smooth it out with one light across the top. That's nice. Nice pickup. He's Junior trying to get all his junk out of his knapsack. I think he brought everything he owned today. See, now this is the way I remember cars when someone says old school. Not what you see today. The back tires were shorter than the front, they were always too wide for the car, and they stuck out. Okay, this is what I consider old school, definitely from the mid-70s, early 70s. This is the way they ran it. When that lady ate scoop on it. Look at that cruiser. Got the wood tone. I think I could fit the Concorde in there, plus one of my other cars. This is just a fraction of the car. These are the ones rolling in now. Okay, we went up on the hill, got a little panor panoramic shot of um, some of the later cars that just came in. We didn't even make it through a fraction of this stuff yet. When it comes around, we gotta go down over there with all those cars. Like I said, the show started at 5 o'clock, this we're at 5.30. So get as many pictures as I can before they do the cackle fest. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. That thing is pretty cool too. Wow, how sweet is this thing? shabby either. I've always been a sucker for green. Especially a sedan. 